What is going on you guys, this is TechHD coming at you with a brand new unboxing video and if you're a YouTuber that just wants to start off making videos and stuff like that and you guys see all the prices of cameras that you guys want to purchase and microphones and lenses and other types of accessories and then you see that price starting to build up and you're just like man making YouTube is expensive of course like all the other YouTubers say just do it just start with what you have I'm using my LG V10 and I still been using my LG V10 for a while now and it shoots 4k at 30 frames per second and it's really good especially when I edit it and I do all the types of final touches and color corrections and all that and then makes it look really good and some of you guys maybe want to use your phone maybe don't but what I have is from a, a company called uh, Leica Sara I feel like I definitely um, messed up with that name but Leica Sara provided me with the camera and I will have links down in the description below. This is basically a $160 camera that comes with everything needed to make YouTube videos. Literally to make YouTube videos it comes with a camcorder, it comes with a shotgun microphone, it comes with two extra batteries, the charger, an HDMI cable, it shoots 1080p at 30 frames per second, it has face detection, it has a 24 megapixel camera, it has a wide angle lens accessory, it has a touchscreen display, it has Wi-Fi, it's honestly all of that for 160 bucks. this is honestly a steal and it comes with a carrying case and a, um, a strap as well which is really really crazy so it comes with all of those accessories the only thing that you really need to get is an SD card and I guess an SD card reader if you don't have a card reader on your laptop or your desktop which is not so expensive but all of these would go for hundreds and hundreds of bucks but this goes for around 160 bucks that is seriously a steal it comes with a camera microphone all those types of other accessories that I said before so this is pretty insane 1080p at 30 frames per second is perfectly fine for just starting off YouTube I stream 4k but if I look at my analytics a majority of the people watch on their mobile phones and they watch at 720p and then 1080p and not even like really small percentage watch in 4k and not even like full 4k because they probably don't have a 4k tv or monitor and stuff like that so 1080p at 30 frames per second is perfect for just starting off and i'm going to be showing you guys how it will be like we're going to be unboxing this and i'm going to be showing you guys some video tests and also some audio tests with the microphone that they provide and i'm also going to be showing you guys this could be also used for streaming because since it has an hdmi port you can hook it up hook it up to a capture card and then start streaming with this camera so we're going to be unboxing this we're going to be taking a look at it and let's see how good it is Okay you guys, so the first thing that we're going to be taking a look at is a little bit of the packaging. So once again, Wi-Fi, HDMI, 1080p at 30 frames per second, 24 megapixel, digital zoom up to 16 times, a 3 inch uh, LCD touch screen, uh, touch panel, face detection, all of that has the HDMI once again. And that is pretty much it. Once again, this will be down in the description below and let's just get right into it. Now of course, I just want to let you guys know that for 160 bucks, I don't expect the video quality to be absolutely phenomenal but overall it should be good enough just to start off youtube and even if you want to just do a little bit of streaming as well uh it's definitely better it should be better than a webcam so we got the user manual which we most likely won't need we can throw that to the side i'm gonna throw all this to the side and okay so there's a bunch of things so what we have is the microphone itself it's a shotgun microphone and it's a rechargeable shotgun microphone so that is crazy a rechargeable shotgun microphone you can see the light indicator right here so that's pretty cool and then we got the cable to charge the microphone as well and then on the top there's a hot shoe as well so if you guys want to add more stuff to it and i can't seem to remove it but you get the point and then we got a little furry windscreen as well not furry windscreen just a regular one we got the lens cap over here over here we got a little bit of a bag let's see what's in here oh, okay so here's the lens the other lens this is the wide angle lens so it's really crazy that they provide you with another lens on top of the actual camcorder so let's take a look okay so this they say it's a macro lens but it's a super wide angle lens and this looks pretty crazy oh my god all right so we're gonna put this back into the bag without the other one and we're just gonna put it to the side over here we got the remote so you can automatically just press start pause all of that so that's really cool 
Got the HDMI cable. We got, let's see, got the two batteries. I love how they provide two, so that is crazy. And then we got the cable to connect it to the PC or anything else. And here is the battery to just charge it. And then we got the camcorder itself, really cool. We're gonna look at that in a second. And then we got the bag over here and the strap should be inside and we do have the strap. So really small pouch, but at least they provide us with one. And also, it looks like that this is a mount because this is probably different country. No, that looks about the same. So I guess they just provide that just in case. But overall, that's pretty much it. So let's move everything else to the side. Let's remove the camcorder out of here. Okay. So we got the camcorder over here. This is uh, full 1080p at 30 frames per second. You can see Lacassar. I seriously don't know how to pronounce that. Lacassar, Lacassar, whatever it is. It's got Wi Fi, the touchscreen, all of that. Looks pretty cool over here. Got the mic port, the HDMI, and then the port to, I guess, connect to. This is the mini USB to connect to your PC or something like that. Got the record button, and it feels pretty sturdy. It has a good amount of weight to it. The zoom, take a picture, the hot shoe, so you could put the microphone. And then we got the lens as well. This is obviously non-removable, it's fixed, but then there's a little bit of a ring so you could attach that wide angle lens. Looks really cool. And then we got the touchscreen display. We also got power, light, menu, mode, display, and then we could mount this on the tripod. And then of course for the, there we go, for the SD card and also the battery. So the SD card it supports 64 gigabytes and that is pretty much it. So this is the camcorder itself. I'm gonna be taking a look at this. I'm gonna be setting everything up and then I'll show you guys some video tests as well as the audio test with and without the microphone. So let's get right into it. Okay, you guys, so before we do any type of video test or audio test, what I wanna show you guys is all the attachments that we can do with this camcorder and the accessories that they provide. So very quickly, I have the lens cap on, so I'm just gonna remove that. I got the wide angle lens, and it's also, I just realized it could be turned into a macro lens if I just remove this. And then you could get some really close up shots of like a tree or a fly or something and get that nice detail. So now let's, move on to this one we got the shotgun microphone it goes to uh, 0 dBs to plus 10 dBs so I prefer the plus 10 because the 0 is a little bit too quiet because I have tested this a couple times so now let's attach all of this so we're gonna be attaching the wide-angle lens first and it's super simple and I forgot to mention that this does come with a light so that's really cool but we're gonna be attaching something else on top of the microphone so then if we move on over to the shotgun let's slide this got this let's start to tighten this up we are all set and then we just go to the back just bring this out and just connect it turn it on and now it already looks like that we have a beast as setup. We got a wide angle lens, we got a shotgun microphone on top, and we got the camcorder itself. You could flip it around, do like a nice type of vlogging style. You can see the, the phone on top of it. That looks pretty cool. But then what I wanna do if I wanna, because you know how the wide angle covers the light a little bit, what I wanna do is I have an LED light over here, and I just attach this on top of the shotgun and turn this on. And then we got some great ass lighting. We got some uh, good audio and then we got a good wide angle shot. So if you guys want to vlog or just do like a still shot, uh, make a video just like a still shot, this is perfect for it. You already got the nice light, the shotgun, and then the camcorder itself. So this looks like a beast ass setup. And that's what I really like about this. All for 160 bucks, you get a majority of this except the light, but I'll have a link down in the description below for the LED light as well but this is a crazy setup. So now what I'm gonna be showing you guys is how to set this up for streaming. Maybe you guys wanna start streaming and you guys don't wanna use a webcam or, or your phone. Maybe you wanna get like a nice camcorder or something like that. So we got the wide angle with the shotgun as a backup microphone and then we got the camcorder itself. So we could just easily hook this up to the PC with either the uh, mini USB or we could hook it up with an HDMI and I'll show you guys how to set that up in a second. So let's get right into it. 
Okay, you guys, so now what I have is I have my camcorder connected to a tripod. And as you can see right here, I can view myself and now it's in focus. So I have the camcorder and then I got the microphone. I also have the light, but obviously that's optional. So I have these two main things and then I got the tripod. I want to attach it to a tripod and then I can view myself. And also I could get rid of the display so it does not show up. Let's see, I'm taking a guess on where it would be. Nope, not that one. There we go. Okay, so I got rid of the display, so now it's just the camera itself. And then also, if we connect it to USB, uh, with just a USB, no HDMI, and basically what it would pop up is either the option to transfer the files or PC camera. And obviously it's not in focus. I'm trying to see if I can get in focus. There you go. So now if we go to, so now since we're in PC camera, we can't see anymore, so we're just gonna turn this to the side so even though we can't view us we could still go to OBS we could still open a video capture device open this up and then search the J1455 and then there it is basically that is the camcorder right there and it looks pretty good so now we could use it as a streaming device and now let's just go to custom let's change this to 1080 30 frames H.264 709 you set the full and that seems about it so now we're using the camcorder as a webcam for streaming so now then we could do is remove the green screen and then it's nice quality 1080p at 30 frames per second you get better lighting it'll look a lot more a lot better so that is pretty crazy so I'm just aiming it right here so basically let's see so now I'm just aiming it over here so it looks pretty good to be honest. A, there's a little bit of a delay but then obviously we could sync the gameplay with it. But overall it's not that bad and then if you want to connect it to HDMI you would need to uh, I guess get a capture card and connect it. Elgato has the uh, Elgato uh, cam link which is really cool if you guys want to spend that extra money. But either way you could connect it to your PC no problem with just the regular USB and it will be detected as either just file transfer or PC camera so that is pretty cool okay you guys so what we are doing is we're doing a video test and an audio test I have the camcorder right here with a wide-angle lens it is super super bright outside so I'm gonna go back into the shade I'm gonna back very quickly and I have the wide-angle lens attached to it and I also have the shotgun microphone that they provide with as well so in outdoors it looks really nice I'm not gonna lie in bright situations but uh, bright situations it looks pretty good and it's not bad for 1080p at 30 frames a second now keep in mind though I have my arm extended all the way out because so I could get like the full frame and I'm looking at myself at, with the uh, LCD and with the wide angle lens I still have to extend my arm so if I were to remove okay so I just removed the wide angle lens and you can see that I'm 10 times closer so now we're gonna start walking a little bit so we could get some background noise and also some uh, wind if there's any wind but it is super bright outside and let me just attach the wide angle lens to this and you can see that it gets me very well so now what we're gonna do we could do a little bit of a comparison so what I have is I have my LG V10 over here it shoots at up to 4k but we're gonna be um, we're gonna be downscaling it we're gonna be shooting at 1080p at 30 as well and we're gonna be seeing how this one is from a phone to just a regular camcorder and we're not gonna be using any microphone with this we're just gonna be using uh, the standard that comes with the phone all right okay you guys so now what you are seeing is the LG V10 and I have my phone kind of covering the microphone so bear in mind if the audio is completely bad and the good thing about the LG V10 is that there's two lenses on this so on the front there's a wide angle and also a uh, telephoto lens so just a regular one so a regular one and a wide angle so I could switch between the wide angle and we're using the wide angle so we could compare it more with uh, the camcorder and look at this this thing looks like a freaking beast but it's not bad and I just want your guys opinion on what you guys think about this once again we're outside a little bit of wind a little bit of background noise stuff like that is super bright outside I'm going back to the spot where I was shooting before and um, 
overall it looks nice and I want your guys' opinion on what you guys think about this once again this is the wide angle so if I go to like the regular one it'll be really close so I have to really extend my arm and bear in mind that I'm not using any tripod or anything like that because I don't know if you guys will have a tripod this didn't come with the tripod so I'm not gonna be using the tripod for the phone and keep in mind though that this does not have optical image stabilization and neither does the front facing of the uh, LG V10 only the back one so you know it's pretty uh, it's pretty on par with each other now all just matters on the quality of it which one do you guys prefer uh, let me know down in the comments below and uh, we'll see which one is actually better but basically for 160 bucks you get all of this and you get it's actually not bad of a deal all you need is a SD card and that's pretty much it after that but overall it comes with an extra lens it comes with a microphone it does all of that so let me know down in the comments below on what you guys think about this I hope you guys enjoyed the video this has been the unboxing and first look of this once again thank you to like us all I, I, I'm butchering the name really badly but thank you so much like us all for providing me with the product so there you guys have it I hope you guys enjoyed the video please like comment subscribe follow me on Facebook Twitter YouTube Instagram Twitch as always is Tech HD I'll catch you guys in the next video Peace.